Here with Godfrey, you've had a night to think about it. Night to think about Has there been any second guessing about taking Sarah to the end? Absolutely. Zero second guesses, zero regrets, you know. I made the decision, I went with my gut, and like I knew there was a potential I could lose, you know. So like I just feel like you can't regret anything in this game. Do you feel like you had a degree of obligation to Sarah and Brittany because they basically helped you out so much in the game? Did that have anything to do with you deciding to take Sarah? I tried my best not to play personally and let emotions get in the way. But like when you live for 70 days with somebody and you know they had your back when you needed it the most, you just can't help but to want to repay that, you know. So you're right. I definitely had that obligation, you know. I felt though. I, I, I want to talk a little bit about like the vote count. So yeah, when you were, count. yeah, so when you were sitting there and you feel like you've got yeah. Ashley on one side, Sarah on the other, yeah. how did the votes go in your head? Like, did you sort of see the diapers go in with Ashley and then you knew that Brittany would probably vote for Sarah? So what was the math like in your head? So this, I did a back and forth, back and forth doing the math. But like, I figured the type of alliance, because like, you know, when you're in an alliance with somebody for that long, one, you get to witness their game and you have respect for it, where they didn't witness mine. So I figured, I'm like, she has those votes locked down. And then Sarah on top of that was telling me, she's like, Godfrey, you got to take me, you can beat me. And I knew she'd be bitter if I cut her, so she'd be yet another vote for Ashley. Right. And then when I did the math on Sarah's side, I was like, okay, Sarah definitely has Brittany and Cindy. I have Bobby and Bruno. And I felt like, you know, those diapers they would kind of be forced to choose. I hate calling them dead up diapers, right. but they would be forced to choose between the two of us, you know? So like, at the end of the day, you can't really, there's no math to this. There's no algorithm, you know? You can't get into the people's heads. They're gonna make the vote that they think is the right one. Now, you know, last night I told you that I love the blood on my hands speech, but when you get to the end and you do a speech like that, is there any part of you that's like, oh, I wish I hadn't said the blood thing because now I've lost Zach's vote automatically? To be honest, like, not really, you know, because, like, Zach, he's definitely, the guy is a super fan as well. And I knew, like, he had a lot of respect for the game. He's not somebody I'd expect to vote emotionally. And let's be real, man, Sarah burned him worse than me. She nominated him and actually sent him home. So, like, you know, like, I knew at the end of the day he was going to do the decision he truly felt was the best, you know. I wasn't worried that he'd hold resentment against me. You know, uh, I remember seeing all your pre-show interviews, and uh, you said that whole thing about how you were gonna like bring a ring into the house, and uh, and I was and literally, I I was waiting yeah. and waiting for that ring thing to come up. So what happened? You just didn't see the opening. I had the ring in my bag, but when you go into this house, you never know who you're gonna meet. And right away on week one, I noticed all the big players who wanted to turn stuff up, mm -hmm. like Greg. Mm -hmm. They went home right away. So I was like, okay, Godfrey, you got to chill, stay under the radar these first few weeks. The time's going to come where you got to do the epic speeches, when you got to call people out and stir the pot. But like, you know, it was just too early, you know. And like, I relied more on my words than planting stuff. Uh, tell me about these speeches. You know, Godfrey is now known as like the key guy you want doing a speech at the POV, the key <laughs> guy you want doing a speech at the HOH. Did you prep them beforehand or did they just, uh, did the words just like naturally come into your head? To be honest, half the time, I'd literally just say what came from the heart, you know? Like, I'd be saying my speech, and more stuff would get in my head. I'm like, oh, and I got to say this, too, and I got to say this, you know? And it was also just for the reaction, you know? I wanted to really sell the idea that, hey, I'm going after this guy. Remember that, guys. Don't vote me out. Keep me around. I'll fight for you. That was just the point of the speeches, you know? When you get to the end and you don't win, is it sort of like a, a bittersweet feeling? Like, are you happy about the fact that you got so close to winning? Or do you sort of like just think about, oh, man, I was so close. Why couldn't I just oh, do it? Boy. What is the feeling like? Coming into this game, I said to myself, the worst thing I would rather be voted out first mm -hmm. than to make it to final two and not win. That was my mentality coming in. But as you actually play the game for the 70 days and you see how fast things can turn around, I became to appreciate my time more in the house. And then I realized at that point, I'm like, dude, it's not about making it to the end, you know. Sometimes, you know, it's just about playing the game and learning from your experiences and being happy with the decisions you make. You know, people, people come up to me and they say, what's the story about Big Brother Canada 3? And I said, I can sum it up for you in three words. Three words. Three words.
the Godfrey show, okay? Ah, Blood on my hands, you had that big, like, the jump. I remember yeah. seeing everybody had a photo of your jump after JP I, got I a big... I saw that jump! Yeah. I didn't know I could jump that high, man. Yeah, I saw that jump. Jesus. So, do you feel like... I feel like people are going to remember Godfrey, you know? Like, even though you didn't win, I feel like when people think of this season, they're going to think of you. Do you feel the same way? Hey, man, I was on the block week five. I was the target on day two, and I made final two, man. Yo, I'm proud of the way I played the game. And I'd rather leave a legend than to be just some other Joe Blow who made it to the end and didn't make an impact, you know. For me, making an impact, inspiring people who are watching, that means more to me than any title. That's the true reward I take from this. You know what? You called yourself Godfrey Manguiza, the lady the pleaser. Lady pleaser. That's right. All right. So now I know you're going to give it to me straight. Who, in your opinion, was the hottest house guest on Big Brother Ooh, Canada Season 3? Boy. Straight answer. I just need a name. You don't need to elaborate, but who was the hottest? Willow was the hottest. Wow, really? Yeah. I was a big I Ashley think. fan. You know, brown guys, we love yeah. blonde girls. You know Willow that. Willow right? and Sarah. Something about her. I like it. Yeah. I like it. All right, now, what I'm hoping you'll do mm -hmm. is I'm going to give you this mic. Oh, I course. want you to pretend that I, like, basically screwed you in the game. And now you've won the veto, so I can't get you out and give me one of those like speeches. I want sort of like a like a Mertz. I want your blood on my hands. Okay, okay man. can you do that? Oh, okay, for okay, sure, okay, man. Okay. So I'm sitting here. Okay, I'm waiting for it. You thought you could get me out of this house? You made one mistake, bro. The sleeping giant is awake. You better hope your ass they vote to evict me next Wednesday night. Because if I stay in this game, man, it's you I'm coming after. I'm coming after you and your showman says. Have fun in Jury House, man. This game ain't cut up for you, bro. Blind, <laughs> blind. And I want your blood on these hands. Amazing, amazing. All right, Godfrey, now we're going to end this with, mm -hmm. I did practice your dance, okay? I don't know if it's a dance. It's more it of a is, move, it right? It's more of a dance maneuver. Okay, okay. So, so can I see it one more time, okay? And then I'm going to try it. We start off with, ready, okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And you got it, man. Okay. Ready? Okay. No. <laughs> Let me do okay, it one, okay. more one more time. time. One more time. I'm going to concentrate this time. Okay. Ready? Oh, okay. Ready, okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. You got okay. It, I got it. I got it. God and you usually do that when you survive the block, you know? You first got to like survive it. the block, earn your stripes, then you can do the dance. I like it. Godfrey. The lady, please. Mr. Manguiza. The godfather.